Hi, it's Louise from Your Marketing Specialist on behalf of York International Women's Festival. Today I just wanted to talk to you a little bit about promoting your event on Eventbrite. So last week we talked about the importance of creating an event on Facebook because it's easy to share with your friends, it can increase your audience reach and you can invite people you know. And we want to share your event. So if you haven't already created a Facebook event, please do so and share it with us and we'll add it to our Facebook page. So you can see we've got some great events going on and we want to make sure that yours is on our list. Now, if you need a little bit of technical help, there's a little video like this one called Your Guide to Creating a Facebook Event and you can find it on the YIWF website under resources. So if you're feeling a bit stuck with Facebook technology, go and have a look. Now, Eventbrite. If you put your event on Eventbrite, they've actually got their own internal search engine so that people can search for events in different locations, they can search by different categories, um, can search by date, they can search by price. So that's brilliant for increasing your audience reach again. It also can help your search engine ranking in general. So just type in your event into Google. If your event is listed on Eventbrite, that will help your event show up in Google listings as well. So big thumbs up there. Eventbrite has also got a ticket booking system built into it. So if you're wanting to get people to book on your event, not just say that they're going, Eventbrite is a free tool. You can put free events on there or you can put paid tickets on there. So it's a really good way of selling your ticket. Just be aware that there is a commission fee to be paid on any paid ticket sales. And now let's dive in and have a look and I'll show you how easy it is to create an event within Eventbrite. So if you go to eventbrite.co.uk or just Google Eventbrite, you'll come to this page and you can see that there's already some events listed for me in York because it, it recognises that I've been to this site before. So you can search for different events by location here, by date here or by topic here. So if I just put in poetry here, you can see it'll come up with all kinds of poetry events in York. So great, there's some stuff there for the Women's Festival already. There's things coming up for the Literature Festival in York. Now the categories are down this left hand side, arts, community, music, business, fashion. So these are the categories that you could choose to list your event as. There's also different types of event. So whether it's a performance or a seminar or a course, um, just have a click on course and see what comes up. You can also search by a specific date or by a price. So a lot of people are looking for free events. So if you have got an event during the festival that's free, this is a great place to put it because there are people out there who are looking to come to free events. Now, to create an event, it's easy. It's just up in this top right hand side. You'll probably need to sign up and log in first so that you're creating a, an event under your profile. Okay, yeah, so let me just sign in. So the create an event form walks you through all the information that you need to put, put in. So giving your event a title, specifying the location. You can also use a past location. So I often run my workshops from Pure Zest in York. So it'll let me collect, select the event and brings in all of the location information and Google Maps as well for it. So you put in your start and end date and time. You add an image and it tells you here the recommended size in pixels. Um, you've then also got this editor to write your event description. So you can pick some simple formatting options, so bold and italic. And if you're a little bit more advanced, you can also use the HTML editor to put in a bit of code if you wanted to, but don't worry if that's beyond your skill set. Um, you can also put in images uh, and in one of mine I've put in a video but you do need to be aware that that can change the format of your listing which I'll show you in a moment. Now within your description if you've got some standard FAQs that people normally ask Eventbrite will let you insert them so things like parking options, um, if there's a minimum age, if you need to bring ID, uh, what's your refund policy. So if you want to answer any of these types of questions you can simply add them 
um, from the FAQ list here. You can also link to your Facebook and Twitter accounts, which you can set up in your organiser profile. And then you get to create your ticket. So if you are in a larger venue and there's reserved seating, you can activate this option. Or you can list free tickets or paid tickets. So a free ticket, um, just type the name of your ticket and how many are available to buy. And then um, you can select if you want the event to be promoted everywhere. If people can only book online or only pay on the door, you can set when sales start and when sales end. And you can limit the amount of tickets per person. So if you don't want somebody buying up all of your tickets in one go. Now to set a paid ticket, you've got two options. So you can set a price here. So we'll use that £15. And then Eventbrite adds on the fees. So it then increases that ticket price to £16.52. Now what you can do is if you click on the settings uh, and you scroll down, you can actually choose to absorb the fees which means that when a, before Eventbrite pays you out, it will take this fee off. Now, if, um, if you're not VAT registered, Eventbrite will collect VAT on your behalf because there's VAT on online sales. You can then choose if you want to list publicly or privately. So obviously we're talking about the York Women's Festival events so we do want them to be public but if you're arranging something personal say like a private party um, and you wanted to send the link out for people to book you can have a private event that can only be accessed by the link as well so then you get to select your event type um, so if it's a, a talk or a conference or um, if it's a, a celebrity appearance or a gala dinner and then your topic um, so it's an entertainment. Now, if you so choose to, you can select to show the number of remaining tickets. So if you're selling 100 tickets, you might want to show that you've got 90 tickets left or 50 tickets le left or 10 tickets left. Um, and then you can just make your event live. So we'll just have a quick look at my organiser profile. So you can see you can put in some information about who you are and what you do and have a link to your website. And then all of your events will be listed. You can also pull in your Facebook feed and your Twitter feed if you want to. Now the standard event page design is like this. So with your image up at the top, um, you click here on the right hand side to buy tickets, then you've got your event um, description in the middle. Now like I said, if you're going to put a video in, then the format reverts to an older style. If I just show you this one, you can see that the ticketing information is up here at the top and your image is moved over to the right. So it's not quite as nice and pretty. Um, and you can see you scroll down here and I've put in the little video for how to create a Facebook event as a resource. So you do need to make that decision of um, how pretty versus practical you want your event listing to be. What's also nice is as you scroll down, it will bring up other events that you might be interested in. Interested in. So I love the way that this brought, has brought all of my um, events up there. So that's why it's good to use a organizer profile and list all of your events together. And there's a few other cool things that you can do uh, within managing your event. So if you come up to the top and you go into manage events, and here, if you just click on manage, so you can also go back and edit your events at any time. Um, it'll take you to this dashboard. And if you scroll down here, this is the bit that I really like, you can edit the URL that's for your event. So if you can see um, up in the top left hand corner, um, up here where the URL is, the event IDs are quite long. Um, eventbrite.co.uk forward slash and then the string of numbers. So if you click on edit here, you can put in your own URL, um, it will come up as eventbrite.co.uk, whatever you put in. So I've put in um, the YIWF marketing surgeries and then it comes up .eventbrite.co.uk. So this is much better for sharing 
the link with people. So if you put in the link on your Facebook page, for example, or if you're sending it out um, in an email, it just looks a lot nicer than some of the kind of horrible, really long, meaningless um, Eventbrite links. So on the left hand side, there's also things that you can do, um, like adding to to Facebook, you can send out email invitations. So this is really good if you don't already have an email system like MailChimp, you can create your own email invitations here. So there's some customization that you can do, um, selecting colors and things, and you can edit the message. And then it automatically pulls in this information here. So the event location and the time and the date, um, a button to respond, and then the description sits below um, and you can just send that out to your address book. There's also some other cool tools that you can use um, like creating discount codes. Um, there's widgets so that you can integrate Eventbrite with your website. Um, they've got built-in analytics so you can see where your sales are coming from. So if they've come through a Facebook link, if they've come from the Eventbrite uh, search engine. Um, you can get lists of your attendee, attendees, so the people that have bought tickets from you, um, and there's other tools to create name badges and um, etc. So sign up, create a profile, create your event, have a play. If you get stuck or you've got any questions, then please get in touch with me. You can get in touch with me in the Facebook group or the Facebook page for the York International Women's Festival. Or you can um, find me on my website, which is yourmarketingspecialist.co.uk. Um, drop me an email, give me a call, um, come and find me in my marketing lounge where I kind of give free advice and tips on marketing. Uh, and if you are interested in learning more about marketing your event, you might have seen that the event that I was running through um, on Eventbrite, as the example, um, is a workshop that I'm running next Thursday. It's Better Smarter Marketing for Events. Uh, and we'll be talking about more tools, techniques and strategies that you can use to best promote your event. And you can find the event simply by searching for Better Smarter Marketing within Eventbrite and it'll come up with Better Smarter Marketing for events. I uh, hope to see some of you there. Thank you for listening today.